With the continued advancement of computing power and massive generation of data, we now have better technologies to allow us to gain valuable insights and to solve problems faster than ever. Hello everyone, this is a post presentation from Supercomputing 2019 in Denver, Colorado that I gave at Supermicro and WECIO's trade show booths during the conference. Supermicro is a leading provider of GPU and compute servers. We've been servicing this trend for a very long time. What we see is it requires extreme scale and performance, and of course, all the enterprise features and data services that you're accustomed to. We call this Enterprise HPC Storage. My name is JP Alport and I am a project manager at the Supermicro Solution Integration Center, SSIC for short. My team and I create and deploy innovative solutions based on various Supermicro hardware, as well as provide full end-to-end -end integration services. Andrew Perry is a VP of OEM at WEC.io who is responsible for OEM partnerships. He and I have worked together to create the best enterprise HPC storage solution to service these trends. The amount of data we produce every day is truly mind-boggling. In the last two years, 90% of all data has been created through various types of workloads and sources, such as social media, communications, daily internet traffic, etc. The rise of Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, and machine learning, data growth will continue to accelerate even faster. With this amount of data being generated, we have huge opportunities to leverage various insights such as better decision making, reducing risk, and solving complex problems. However, we are faced with many modern challenges such as billions of small files, lots of metadata, workloads that are very sensitive to latency, huge data generation, and of course, massive data ingestion. So, what do we do? Everyone knows that AI is the next digital frontier. This is just the beginning of another revolution. We see that many industries using AI can see a boost in profit margins by 40% due to an increased productivity, efficiency, and automation. However, not everyone is ready to embrace it. 40% see that their IT infrastructure is unable to support it. It's now that infrastructure is finally catching up to the decades of science and research. The new requirements to have successful AI is fast compute, fast networking, and fast access to stored data. I'll go over these three in more detail. Supermicro makes the best systems that are first to market with the latest and greatest technologies. We at Supermicro are helping solve real world problems effectively so that they are able to achieve their goals and outcomes. Our GPU server lineup is on the forefront leading the AI revolution with the best price performance ratio and with many, many rich features. It continues to only get better time over time. We have a huge selection of GPU architectures such as NVLink, NVSwitch, and various single root complex options to support any type of workload you throw at it. Optimized interconnects ensure for the best system efficiency and lowest latency. All systems have the best thermal designs for the highest performance and reliability. And of course, we use the latest technology such as NVMe, InfiniBand, 100G plus networking, and much, much more. Let's talk about high performance networking, the second requirement for successful AI. Along with advances in computing, there have been huge advances in networking in terms of speed and latency. 100G and EDR InfiniBand are commonly found in many HPC environments. Many are moving or have plans to move to 400G speeds and beyond in the next few years. We know for a fact that if data is distributed intelligently and efficiently, you can retrieve and move your data 100 times faster over the network than local disk. Also remember, network scale is extremely easy while local storage is not. If you also see, the latency on emerging high-speed network technologies is extremely low, even faster than local SSDs. Having low latency is so important for many types of workloads. We've seen that a huge amount of I.O. and data are generated with GPUs and compute servers. This is only going to increase with future hardware iterations. Not for speed. Ha! Sorry, I can help myself there. I meant network file system. NFS is the most widely used protocol for HPC file systems. It was invented back in the 1980s. Until 2010, networking was the bottleneck for many workloads. However, with the rise of GPU computing and 100G plus networks, we see that NFS is no longer suitable. You should also note that even local NVMe, which is about 40 gigabits per second, is also slower. That being said, we see that GPU exposes protocol deficiencies and creates an I.O. starvation. With these I.O. bottlenecks, there are huge financial implications. For example, three data scientists are hired for a three-year investment, which is about $3.75 million spent. They might spend 30% of their time for their workloads to complete due to slow storage and protocol deficiencies. That costs more than $1.1 million in lost productivity. $1.1 million buys you a lot of hardware and labor. 
Enterprise HPC storage has three important things in order to be successful. You need to have a high performance storage array that has extremely low latency and is faster than local file systems. Number two, a parallel file system that can handle capacity, throughput, and metadata. When you are dealing with billions of small files such as from AI, metadata becomes a bottleneck. You need to have a storage architecture that can handle stuff like this. And finally, if you're running a storage system in an enterprise data center, you need the features of a traditional NAS such as scale out, snapshots, backup, reliability, easy to use and manage, etc. With these three things combined, Supermicro and WECIO have partnered together to create the best enterprise HPC storage. WECIO on Supermicro hardware solves a performance challenge. WECA is a massively parallel scale out file system written specifically for Flash. It's completely different from any other file system out there. It's been written from scratch, from the way data is laid out and handled, the networking, everything in order to take care and service these modern workloads. So, we commonly see that 10 to 100 times faster returns over any other technologies used. Today, we live in a space between your traditional NAS and your traditional HPC scale-out file systems. Both were created 25 to 30 years ago, specifically for disk and large files. However, in modern workloads, we need to be able to handle NVMe storage, deal with extreme networking speeds, distribute the data in an intelligent way, and in scaling out your metadata along with your data. That's what WECIO has built. Here's an example where a few of our customers have run this benchmark. They took an all-flash NAS, and they ran some workloads and got what you expect, 1.5 gigabytes per second. They copied data locally to NVMe drives, and they saw 3 gigabytes per second increase. With just a single 100G link, Weka fills that up entirely, which is about 11 gigabytes per second. With multiple links available, we scale almost linearly, so two links, 22 gigabytes per second, three links, 33 gigabytes per second, etc. Weka is 10 times faster than all flash NAS and three times faster than local NVMe. To give an idea what an environment might look like, we could have a bunch of GPU or compute servers along with other types of applications running. This is connected across Ethernet or InfiniBand, preferably 100 or 200G networks as we are built to scale with the newest technologies. You then put a bunch of high performance NVMe flash storage by Supermicro running Weka. You then can tier back to any S3 connected object storage such as Ceph, SwiftStack, or Scaly for local use, or of course, public cloud. The most important thing is that you have Weka file system which is POSIX compliant. It presents a single namespace to the applications. For example, if your storage environment is 100 petabytes and you have 2 petabytes in scratch, the application sees the entire 100 petabytes available. Weka will automatically and intelligently handle data tiering policies. From the application standpoint, everything is transparent and extremely scalable. The Supermicro Solution Integration Center has worked closely with WECIO to bring fully configured and engineered all flash storage appliances to the market. They are available on our 1U Ultra or 2U 4 node Big Twin Super servers. You can choose based on your deployment requirements. The 1U model provides entry level capacity with granular scaling of nodes and the best value per gigabyte. The 2U model provides the best performance density per rack unit as well as additional power savings due to shared power and cooling. These storage appliances deliver the highest performance, at least 45 gigabytes per second bandwidth and over 2.5 million IOPS starting in 8 nodes. It also is the most scalable storage available on the market that can scale to exabytes when paired with object storage, all under a single namespace. For more information, please visit the link to view the datasheet or check the video description below. I want to thank you for taking your time to listen to this presentation and for the ongoing partnership with WECIO. It's been a pleasure working with everyone. Feel free to drop a comment below or reach out to me directly for more information how Supermicro and WECIO can help power your various AI and big data workloads. Thank you, and as always, have a nice day.